Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Shripad Nardoda. I'm a senior technical staff member at IBM Research. And today I'm going to talk about how we secure our CI CD pipelines. Now let's revisit the software supply chain, right? So it typically starts with the developer who is writing our code. And while writing the code, we declare, uh, it declares various dependencies, like uh, the package dependencies, the image dependencies. Then we run our CI CD pipeline. In the pipeline, we, we do various security and compliance functions. Like we generate SBOM, we do vulnerability analysis, we do validation of all the dependencies, whether they are coming from trusted source and not. Then finally, we build some artifacts, typically an image, we push it to some registry and deploy it onto the, onto the uh, cloud. Now, the supply chain security applies, uh, is applicable across the spectrum, from developer to the workload that is running on the cloud. Now, in this talk, we'll be focusing on the security of our CI CD pipeline. Because uh, as I said, right, this is the place where we are embedding and we are bringing the innovations of how we do a lot of security analytics and uh, uh, how we secure our code. But it's also important that we, we make, we give due diligence of basically ensuring our pipelines are secure themselves, right? So that's what is going to be the focus of this talk. So just like our applications, our pipeline also have their own life cycle. It starts with the composition. Now this is the place where we are composing or uh, we are creating our pipeline, we are defining our pipelines. Now there are a number of open source uh, catalogs, like if you are building a Tekton pipeline, then you have Tekton catalog. If you are building GitHub Actions, then there is a GitHub Marketplace. So we'll most probably, when we are uh, defining our pipeline, we'll be using this uh, pipeline definitions which are ready to use. So at this point, we need to make sure that when we are bringing in these pipeline definitions, that we, we do the due validations of this, whether they are coming from trusted source, can we trust these uh, definitions? And also we need to ensure that when we define, we configure them uh, securely. Then we set up or we configure or install our pipelines. Right? At this point, again, we need to ensure, uh, ensure that our pipelines is properly configured. Because our pipelines, they have access to a lot of credentials, right? They have access to our registry, they have access to our GitHub credentials, they have access to our keys. So it's important that when we are setting up or we're installing a pipeline, configuring a pipeline, we make sure that they are securely configured. We can again use some admission controller to ensure that when we are installing, we are only allowing this uh, the sign and the verified artifact to be configured on the pipeline. Then finally, our pipeline gets triggered, right? It, may, it, it could be a manual event, it could be a GitHub event, and our pipeline is basically is ready to execute. Now, this is the last point where we need to do the verification again, uh, and we need to ensure that the pipeline that we are going to instantiate or execute, it is safe to uh, uh, trigger, it's safe to execute, right? We are done uh, all the verifications, and uh, now we can execute the pipeline. Then finally, once our pipeline starts ex executing, we need to ensure that we monitor the uh, our pipelines because, in my personal opinion, monitoring is probably the underappreciated security tool. Right? It doesn't uh, help preventing any security uh, incident, but it is probably the most mature and oldest uh, tool that we can use to discover if there are any uh, uh, any issues with your pipelines or any issue with your applications on the cloud. Right? So. Uh, that's why I think when the pipeline is executing, we need to ensure that we have pro uh, proper monitoring established. Then once our pipeline finishes, we need to collect the automated registration of the execution state and any artifact that is produced by the pipeline. Right? And once at any point in time when the pipeline uh, is in the history, we need to ensure that we have the ability to audit this pipeline. And there are exist, and we don't want to start from scratch, right? There are open source projects that, uh, that are there that are trying to solve some of this problem. For instance, these are Tekton chains uh, that can uh, capture the attestation of uh, automated attestation of the task run and the uh, images that are produced. They can sign it automatically. Uh, I have also put in a Tekton uh, extension uh, proposal to extend this capability to the pipeline run so we can have the end to end provenance collection and we can uh, improve on this. Then we have existing cloud native monitors that we can use to basically monitor our pipelines. Only thing we need to do is we need to do the right instrumentation of the our pipeline components. So when our, our for instance, the Tekton pipeline, then when all the com all the uh, pods or all the containers that are executing, they have the common label so we can aggregate and view them in the, in the through the common lens. 
And for rest of the stuff, there is some work in progress that I'm basically working on. And uh, this is again, uh, working with the open source community. So if you're interested, uh, we welcome your feedback and uh, help. So one thing that I'm looking into is pipe validate, right? So just like our container or our Kubernetes, uh, uh, they have their own CIS benchmark that provides them the guideline of how you basically configure your cluster, how you configure a workload. Similarly, we are trying to come up with basically a set of guidelines that how you can basically configure your pipelines, if, how you can identify any misconfigurations in your pipelines. And again, these are going to be codified. So you don't, uh, these are not going to be just guidelines, just ensure that you are using this latest version of this image on. These are basically actionable ones that we can codify and we can uh, validate them uh, in, in our, uh, through our automations. Then there is the admission controller that we are looking into uh, that, that will again prevent uh, execution of any, uh, 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 provide us the ability to validate and verify the uh, pipeline uh, executions. And pipe auditor is again some automation that we're doing to allow us the validation of any artifact that are produced by the pipeline. You can validate how it was produced, which pipeline produced it, and what checks were done. In this one, uh, in this particular talk, I'm going to talk about the signer, signing part of it. So why it is important uh, is, uh, let's say I'm building a simple tectone pipeline, right? I have three tasks, git clone, vulnerability scan, and build image. Now, if one of the tasks, and I'm bringing this task from the open catalog. Now, if my git clone task is compromised, now in a sense that it is comp it is tempering with the original artifact that are in the git repository and uh, it is uh, uh, as a part of the cloning. Now, my remaining tasks, they are automatically compromised because they rely on what the first uh, git clone task produces. So uh, if one task is compromised, then my whole pipeline essentially can be compromised. So that's why it is essential that we are when we are bringing in this open source element into our pipeline, we make sure that they are signed, we make sure they are coming from trusted source. And that's what we are doing in this uh, pipeline signing uh, utility. Again, this is open source. I encourage you to basically uh, uh, see this. So the approach that we are taking is we are uh, signing this in multiple layers, right? So if this is again an example of Tecton, but it applies equally to the GitHub workflows. So first thing we do is we sign the pipeline definition. Now the pipeline encodes the task layout and the shared resources. So uh, we, we, by signing it, we ensure that these are the only authorized tasks and this is the order in which this task can be executed. Then we sign the task, which encodes the uh, execution logic, that these are the execution functions that I'm going to run, and these are the runtime or the base images that I'm going to use. So when we are signing, we are signing it in these multiple layers. Uh, we sign the pipeline, we sign the uh, task and the image separately. And the uh, we are basically taking two approach. One is we are signing the uh, the YAML, and now we are basically building a new approach where we are converting this task, uh, the Tecton resources, into a Intoto uh, format uh, representation, and then we are signing it uh, with the six store, right? So we are signing it with cosine and all the artifacts that are basically uh, represented in there. I just want to show you a quick demo. So this is again, as I said, this is an open source project called Tapestry Pipeline. So in here, let me in here I, I have basically my pipeline definitions in this particular directory, and I'm basically saying TKN for Tecton and show. This will show, this will pass all the definitions. It will identify what are the pipeline. It will identify the layout, uh, the tasks that are used, the images that are used, steps that are used. Then I can go ahead and I can basically sign this. Uh, uh, I can sign this particular resources uh, with with the, my key, and uh, I can point it to the registries where. Uh, okay, I think I'm running out of time, so I'll just show you one uh, command called verify. So by verification, we can essentially say this tool essentially allows us to statically uh, sign the pipelines and verify it in in the. Uh, uh, in your uh, in your workflows, right? And at the same time, I want to show you a ad simple admission controller, where if we basically uh, try to apply some pipeline or create some pipeline that is not signed, we have basically admission controller that can identify it and it can basically deny the request that signature or message annotations is not found. So we can block this uh, execution of the pipeline. And uh, finally. Uh, as I said, this uh, the code is uh, open source, so uh, you can find it 
uh, at this particular location, we have this, uh, the, the talk that I gave, we have an article published also on the new stack. And uh, if you want to basically, we're looking for help, right? Because this is a big spectrum. So if you are uh, interested, contact me by email uh, on GitHub or on Twitter. Uh, so, yeah, thank you.